I co-authored a book called National Security Cinema, um, which points you to my position, which is that there are strong elements of the national security state, the military industrial complex, the CIA, the Department of Defense, involved in the creation of, uh, of film scripts that are anything to do with American foreign policy or anything to do with these institutions that dominate American foreign so policy. So we should call it the media and military industry. So you conflict. could perhaps call it the media. I mean, Or is that a conspiracy theory? I wouldn't say it's a conspiracy theory. I'd just say it's possibly perhaps over-egging it a little bit because there is still independence within the media organisations to a reasonable extent. I think it's important to remember, you know, we can use independent media to push out important messages as well. The sense I get from, from the book is that it is not just one act of propaganda. The propaganda war is incessant and it's very subtle. I think that all organisations, military industrial organisations, are involved in the creation of, of script, whether that's news or entertainment. They do it on a constant basis. There are uh, large PR organisations that are set up to do that. Um, and it's a constant process. Uh, it's not particularly well known. And, and part of the reason for that is that until... Uh, myself and Tom Secker did this research. It was commonly uh, accepted that there were only a few hundred films that had ever had that had ever been through even the Department of Defense, for example. Is that uh, right? No, it's completely wrong. There are several thousand products that have been affected by the Department of Defense and CIA. Um, it was just a couple of hundred, of, but as far as anyone knew back in the uh, when we first began the research. But now that has been blown out of the water. We've got the lists from those organizations themselves: CIA, DoD the White House as well, um, the FBI, they, are, they have absolutely caked the uh, film scripts and TV scripts. And it's become an increasing problem over the last few years as well, since they've become more involved in reality TV shows. So, you know, to, to try and give a good impression for their soldiers when they go on um, uh, cookery shows or quiz whatever, but also on larger projects about um, American uh, military, such as Iron Man and Transformers and all these kind of things.